Hello, this is Uchwal, design team member and brand investor at Dress My Craft, and today I have a new wonderful tutorial for you using the shrink blink sheets. We will be creating a necklace and an earring set, and uh, this is how the shrink blink pack looks. This is an A4 size sheet, and um, it's just so full of possibilities. I am getting addicted to it. It's just wonderful. So the sheet itself um, has one glossy side and other frosted or more muted side to it and you can work with any kind of color medians on these watercolors acrylics markers pens um, pastels oil pastels anything really and today i'm using this 1.5 circle crunch from Dress my craft and as i said you can print on these you can cut them with your trimmers and scissors you can punch use punches with these sheets you can uh, use your dies with these sheets and uh, the design team has some really wonderful projects on the blog as well very versatile and different projects so please go check that out too so I uh, punched out a bunch of 1.5 inches circles from the sheet and now I'm using some soft pastel in black to completely cover it. Um, I had this idea of creating tiny moons with black and gold imitating the moon shape. So I'm going for that and I wanted the black to be really intense and hence you can see that I am um, going with a little um, heavier hand with the color here. So once I had all of these colors I'm going to use a hole punch up from dress my craft this again is a wonderful tool has these uh, agronomic rubber handles as well and they're really easy to use and punch so i'm using um, one by eight inch four mm punch here and i will punch two holes uh, in a straight line on each of these circles now i'm eyeballing it but uh, if you're not sure you could take some time and use a scale and a pencil and a guide or a grid to mark the circles first so that they are um, in correct order at color correct place so when i was uh, looking for ideas i just found this um, old gilding pro uh, product from nuvo the pen and the gold flakes and um, that was my you know light bulb moment uh, to decide that i wanted to use see and use the gold flakes with shrink print and see the result and um, i'm glad i did this so yeah so i just applied some uh, glue with the nuvo pen but i guess any other glue would work as well and then once the glue dries up a little then you go ahead and add the uh, gold flakes so this creates a really beautiful modern looking uh, necklace at the end and I absolutely love that because uh, choker styles are so much in trend right now and uh, I think it will work with any kind of outfit as well. So I'm just lightly dabbing the gold flakes onto the glue there and once you've done that to all the discs we are going to take a stencil brush and just lightly brush off the excess um, flakes from the circles just to clean it up and you can see how that looks like a little piece of moon and I absolutely love um, how this turned out. So we are going to do this with all of our discs we are going to clean them up remove the excess and then we are going to proceed with our next step so once you're done cleaning you can um, of course use this all the leftover uh, flakes again so just don't don't throw them away you can just throw them back in and um, use it now i know this is an old product and i'm not sure if it's still available so in case you wanted to try this you could um, try gold leafing as well or maybe try uh, stenciling with gold or something like that just experiment and see because shrink print works with almost everything so now i have this dress my craft perfor perforating pad and i've just covered it with the cloth to uh, protect it from the heat and i'm using some pins to uh, secure the circles um, on the uh, perforating pad so that they don't fly off when I'm heating them and I also wanted to show you that you can use your uh, dress my craft heat resistant ceramic tweezers as well to hold the circles down but uh, that would have taken me a little while long because uh, I would have to do that one at a time so I chose to just stick the pins in and do multiple shrink multiple circles in one go so that saved me a little bit of time there 
and you can see how the circles have now reduced to tiny disks and the shrink print reduces to almost 50% of its original size and becomes thicker and more intense the color intensifies and you will see even the gold flakes have become have popped up a little bit and they have this texture to them while they are flat on the original circles when the shrink uh, the shrink print sheets shrinks the gold flakes also intensify so i love this final uh, result it's uh, just mesmerizing to uh, see it shrink and become these cute little things so now once you have shrinked all of the uh, circles i was so obsessed i wanted to show you the magic once again it's seriously it's magical when you shrink these um, things into tiny things so yeah i am just trying to shrink all of the circles and uh, if you do not have a circle punch, you could use any dies or any, uh, you could cut them by hand. You could print things on the sheets and then cut them and shrink them. So many possibilities. So yeah, once I had all of the circles shrinked down, I uh, used some of my jewelry making supplies and using some um, antique jump rings. And I'm using a plier to just uh, connect all the circles using jump rings and that will become the necklace i'm not using any fancy jewelry making technique here very simple just connecting two rings with one jump rings and uh, jump ring and then i have some dress my craft antique chain i'm going to connect it to both the ends and um for the necklace, you could actually measure the size with one of your existing necklaces or neck pieces um, and make it the size that you want. And then just um, add the chain uh, to both the ends and a clasp at the back. And you are all set. You have your unique homemade jewelry. You could gift this. You could do so much with it. And um, I also made matching earrings using the same process. Just connected the circles with some uh, jump rings and now i have these tiny little gold studs uh, which uh, i thought would be cool and um, would become the base of my earring there and that's it that's all there was to it i absolutely love how it turned out because um, i was uh, struggling initially with the project what to do and then when the idea struck i was so excited to create these tiny moon shaped circles and then um, converting them them into this piece of jewelry i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, will give shrink pink a try and thank you so much for watching today i will see you again next time bye bye